It was a Herculean task for the bulldozer to navigate through the heaps of refuse, which has been in existence for a long time. Waste managers engaged by the local government also worked hard to ensure success of removal of the refuse. The chairman of Ikbubaoka local government, Dr. Eric Kosayande, who said the philosophy of cleanliness is next to godliness, is a guiding principle, affirms that he has declared zero tolerance for filth in the local government area. Dr. Osaya Inde said before the removal of the huge refuse at Kara Market, Ward 4, Aduawa area, they also carried out similar exercises in other parts of the local government area. The head of the Department of Environment, Ikbubaoka local government, Mrs. Blessing Wadiai, alongside personnel of the department who were on the ground to supervise and monitor the evacuation, expressed satisfaction with the exercise. The chairman has assured us that he will do more. This very massive waste is totally evacuated. Since 2015, we have been trying to see Al-Qaeda to evacuate this waste, but I was surprised the step he took. Some traders who could not hide their joy prayed God to strengthen the chairman towards the sustenance of the sanitation exercise. We thank uh, our chairman, Mr. Henry. He promised us that he, he would do this work for us. And they start doing it now. In fact, I saw the council workers working this morning. In fact, I was I'm so happy. The Osaya and the led administration has arranged several environmental sanitation programs to keep Ipobaha environment area clean. One of those arrangements is the Muddy Market Cleanup Directive, where markets are identified for environmental cleanup, while another is the regular removal of refuse for which many communities have been captured. Deborah Obefun, ITV News.